Hey everyone, Jason from Make Kara here with another Carvera how-to, and in this one we're talking about the Wireless Z Probe. The Wireless Z Probe allows for easy setup as our Carvera automatically determines the thickness of our stock while also seamlessly changing between the probe and our cutting bits. When setting up a new wireless probe, we can install different posts to accommodate shank diameters of 3.175, 4, 6, and 6.35 millimeters. And we also need to pair the wireless probe with our Carvera CNC, but first it's important to make sure that there's a bit of a charge on the wireless probe. The wireless probe is stored at the end of our automatic tool changer. When installed, it automatically charges whenever the Carvera is powered on. Charging for the first time can take up to 30 minutes to do, and the operating voltage of our wireless probe can also be viewed in the tool status dropdown within the Carvera controller app. Now, under normal operating circumstances, you shouldn't need to dedicate time to actually charging the wireless probe. As long as you use your Carvera CNC at least once a week, that should be more than enough time to charge the probe for regular use. Once the probe is charged, we can pair it with the Carvera. First, open up the pairing wireless probe window in the Carvera controller and press start pairing. Then press and hold the button at the end of the probe for about 10 seconds or until it starts to blink green quickly. When pairing is complete, the green light will blink five times slowly and you will receive a pairing successful notification in the Carvera controller. We can then test the function of the wireless probe by first opening the diagnostic window in the Carvera controller app, then pressing the button on the end of the wireless probe. The status light next to probe should illuminate when the probe is being pressed. Then we just have to install the probe in our tool changer and enable Enable it when configuring a design to be machined. We can adjust the position of our Z probe, which is shown as the red dot in the preview. By default, this is in the lower left corner of your design, but you can configure the position to be at the center point or anywhere else on your material as you choose. And that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to check out the Make Hera channel for more how to videos and guides.